It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the September edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Milford slash lefties slash lucky lanes in Milford, New Hampshire. So many different names. Anyway, it is getting to the point that I'm going to have to start repeating houses. I just happen to have found that this one is relatively close to where I live. But we're getting to the point, we're going to have to repeat places. There are some exciting adventures in new lands that we will eventually do. But it's all a matter of time and work schedules and what have not. So, enough yapping, let's go in and see what's going on. After all, in spite of it being desolate at the moment, it's open. Alright, for once at least, for the time being, we're actually in a place that's not playing music. Yay, copyright nightmare averted. No big deal if it happens anyway. Just a tiny little bit of extra editing. Anyway, the front desk, snacks and stuff there. Restrooms over there. Apparently this is a center where you could have a party. A little bit of a bar seating there. And we got a little arcade. It's probably a special section for something. And a big screen up there. Let's take a look at what we got. And we got a few arcade games. This Neo Geo looks like its picture tube is uh, seen better days and needs a rejuve. That's... It looks a lot nicer on camera than it really is. That one's getting a little weak as well, the Maxim Force. Not too bad. These are holding up well. The Hydro and the Fast and Furious. And of course a gun blade will hold up unless that's a plasma. Yeah, it's starting to show its age. Plasmas you can't fix. Those get replaced. Those can be rejuved. Especially the Neo Geo. Like I said, it looks better on camera than it really is. And of course your claw machine. You know you gotta have those. Basically it's a bowling center. And we got 12 candle pin lanes, and it's, I don't know how you can tell which lane is what. The numbers are so small, we can't even see them. We will be bowling on lane number one. And one question I have to say is, what happened? What's with this eight feet of darkness? <laughs> and what happened here? Wow. Well, you know the story, you've seen New Palace, that place is rough, but it plays really easy, so I don't know how easy or hard this place is, so, or how straight everything is, you don't know. Anyway, we've pretty much seen what there is, so before we get started, let's take a look at all the high scores as of now. As of September 2017, here are those scores. In candle pins, we got a high of 136 at Putnam Lanes in Fitchburg, and the current low is 44, which was shot at Mason's, although somewhat early on, still really crappy. When it comes to duck hunting, it's not as good. It's a 118, which is still fairly respectable. But surprisingly, the low score is as high as it is, which is a 64. A few months ago, it was knocked down one point. So, going from 65 to 64, not bad, but something I didn't want to do. And then there's the land of the 10 pin. 150, which is average ability in that sport. And the very sad attempt at two-handed bowling netted an actual score of 26. Yes, that was a real score. Those are the current high and low scores as of this video. And now, back to the action. 
Alrighty, we're getting close to start. Of course, we know we're getting lane one. And from what I was told, the end lanes here are the easier of the sets. And I found that these dark spots is simply that they're going to start refinishing the floors and that's where they sanded it down. And of course, when your sanding disc starts to collect a lot of debris, it starts to turn black and that's what the black is. Perfectly normal stuff, nothing wrong there. That end looks good. This end's worn, but it's not bad. Typical wear. Anyway. Old school, 50s Brunswick, late 50s Brunswick. And they have paper scoring, which is what I prefer next to the semi-automatic. And unlike many of them, it actually has the rules. So pause if you want to read how scoring works. Three, two, one, done. You can also, I know I'm showing you upside down, menu for their bar food. And now we take a look at the house balls, just because we can. They feel a bit light. I wonder if they're of like the two pound five ounces. That one's got a gouge. Nothing out of the ordinary, though. Ooh, this one looks a bit nasty. Still nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, these feel real light. The nasty ones, you just put them in the back. But of course, we don't use those. We use these guys. My Epco urethane, which is barely readable at this point. Proline bowling balls, the only thing professional about the bowling that you will see here unless I get a Cinderella moment, which is rare, but happens. And now, it's time for those famous words you've been waiting for. It's now time to watch me suck at bowling. Frame one, ball one. Nice to play in a place that's not playing music, at least for now. Ball two. That didn't feel right. Ball three. Probably a tough start here. Now we start with a lovely six. And for those of you who like pin setters, here's the bowl more in action. And there you go. Frame two, ball one. Yeah, gotta wake up. Ball two, working a new palace right. Ball three, oh well. At least it's a 10. So far, not that bad of a start. I mean, we have a week six in frame one, and then another one of those wish it was a ball two moment, getting the 10 and two, total of 16. Frame three, ball one. Ball two. Ball three, can we have a stink frame of two here? Nope, have an eight. 
frame 4.1. It's humid in here. No wonder my hair's all. <laughs> Ball two. Ball three. That piece of wood just rolled around. It's, they say it's okay. We're not aiming for it anyhow. Hit it anyway for nine. Things in these two frames went roughly the same, except a little more spread out. We got an eight and three, and a nine and four. Total of 33. Not bad for no marks, but we could use those. Frame five, ball one. Ball two. Ball three, much better. It goes around everything for the eight. Frame six, ball one. Why is it humid in here? Ball two. I don't know why, but that's happening. Ball three. And there's the first stink frame of the day, a four. Ouch, what happened there? I mean, we've got a respectable eight and five, but then the stink frame of four and six? Total 45. A good game is still possible. Frame seven, ball one. There goes a good game. No good. Can we set if it's a full rack? Ball two, here we are again. Chance at an Emily. Nothing on the first ball, everything on the second. Ball three. Could be we could I be wishing this was a spare? Why can I talk? Those were only balls one and two. Out of ten. Frame seven, ball one. Good as possible. Ball two. Every first ball has to suck, doesn't it? Ball three, at least it won't be a stinker, but it's not a good one, at least. And a five to ruin it. That didn't go all too well either. We got a respectable 10 and seven, but then we got the five and eight. Total of 60. Chances are this is gonna be a game of mediocrity. Frame nine, ball one. Yeah, I think mediocre's all I'm getting. 80 is still possible if I get at least all tens.
Ball two. Finally a mediocre ball at least for ball one. Ball three. Reverse half whister left or double wood as you ten pinners a problem. Ball one, that many for mediocre, and I think that's all we're getting. Ball two, at least we get mediocre territory. three, best we can do is nine, so 70s is it. And a state frame of three to end it. That one ended in a disaster. Again, another decent frame to start with, which is the nine, and then another stink frame of three. There were quite a few bad frames in this set, and we managed to get a 72. And I did find out, and I pointed out in the third game, that I found that the sanded portion of the lane is affecting where the ball goes, especially if there's ever slightly any spin on the ball. That proves that I do suck at bowling, because any good bowler could compensate for that. That concludes this episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. This is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.